Hi there. Uh, we're doing this stained glass robin uh, from the festive collection in the Creative Expressions and Sue Wilson dies. We're doing this as a card class. Uh, and because it's on display in the store, we get off, asked often, uh, how do we go about getting the glitter into the specific um, areas uh, definitively like this? So I thought I would do a quick little video on that just so that um, it gives you a little bit of a reference because sometimes describing it just is not, does not, you need a little bit of a, a demo to know exactly what we're talking about. So uh, the dies that we're using is the um, Festive Collection Stained Glass Robin Redbreast and this Festive Collection Twinkle Star Frames background. Uh, this inside layer, uh, frame part here, actually cuts out the outside of the stained glass robin perfectly, so that works out nicely. Uh, so what you're going to do is cut out a piece of cardstock and attach double-sided tape to it, um, and you're going to have the, the waxy part facing forward. You're going to peel off um, the outside, what would be the, you know, the perimeter uh, pieces of that particular um, double-sided tape. So what you're left, what you're peeling away is the parts that's going to be the outline of the of the um, card. And then you're going to, when you have all that ex the part exposed on your double-sided tape, you're going to take a die cut of that outline and line it up to the exposed areas. So then that is taped down. So what you're left with is that outline and then the waxy parts of your double-sided taped uh, image there. See the waxy parts are still left intact. When you do this you're going to go from light color to dark color but just in the interest of contrast and being able to see it better on the um, on the monitor there I thought I would just pick the green because it's um, a nice dark contrast compared to the white. So what you do is just take your pokey tool and you'll do every color at the same time even though I've got two leaves done here. You would peel all those the parts away that are for the same part of the card. So you take away all your the waxy parts of the double-sided tape that's left on there and you'll get your glitter which I seem to put away here <laughs> there we go you get your glitter um, and you just tap a bit of that into there and rub it in with your finger shaking that off onto a, just a regular piece of copy paper and then I get a toothbrush and just brush away any of the extra. So then that gets the glitter out of the nooks and crannies so that it's all a nice clean image again. So you would proceed again with every color uh, that you're doing, shaking the excess back into your tub. So like I said, go from lighter to darker, peeling away all the components of the same color at the same time and sprinkling the whole thing with, with glitter and um, varnishing the whole thing either as you go or at the very end. And this is what you end up with. You'll have all the different colors inside the different components, uh, the different areas of the card. Um, and it makes for such a lovely, a lovely finished product. We get a lot of compliments when we do these kinds of cards uh, in class. Anyway, give it a try. It's not as complicated as it looks. Once you get one down, uh, you'll be away to the races. The most important part of this is when you cut the back of it off with the double-sided tape that you don't cut all the way through. So just your machine. The Nelly's press box that we have has a nice dial that you can uh, put it to a, a microfine increments. So no shimmings needed. If you have to use stackable stuff, this may be a little bit more of a challenge for, for you because what you just want to do, like I said, is just cut away so that the die is cutting just the outline image. So it's, it's not cut, cutting all the way through uh, so that you will have your double-sided tape components left to peel away and nothing else is cut out underneath. You can see, I don't know if you can see on that one, yeah, so like the, no, the die is not cut all the way through. It's just cut through to the, the actual waxy paper. All right, enjoy.